Hey there, today we're diving into the ultimate showdown, MacBook Air M3 vs. MacBook Pro M3 vs. MacBook Pro M3 Pro. With 2024 upon us, the big question is, which one should you be investing in? Stick around to find out as I break down the features, performance, and value of each model. I'll be revealing the ultimate winner by the end of this video, so make sure to watch till the end. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe for more tech content, and find the product links in the description below. Let's get started. Apple's latest iteration of the MacBook Air, featuring the M3 chip, marks another step forward in the evolution of portable computing. Designed to cater to the demands of modern work, education, and entertainment, this update brings significant performance improvements over its predecessors. Let's start with the positives. The M3 chip delivers commendable performance gains compared to both the previous M1 and Intel-based Air models. Whether you're crunching numbers, editing videos, or indulging in some gaming, the M3-powered MacBook Air is up to the task. The addition of dual display support and Wi-Fi 6E further enhances its versatility, making it a compelling choice for various scenarios. However, there are a few drawbacks worth noting. The base configuration may feel a bit stingy in terms of memory and storage, especially considering the starting price. While the MacBook Air runs smoothly with 8GB of memory, opting for 16GB ensures better performance longevity. Similarly, the 256GB storage might feel limiting for some users, although external drives or cloud storage can mitigate this issue. In terms of design and features, the M3 MacBook Air retains the sleek, fanless aluminum body of its predecessors. The vibrant liquid retina display, excellent FaceTime camera, and immersive speaker system contribute to an enjoyable user experience. However, some may find the absence of Face ID and the crowded port layout a bit disappointing. The transition to Wi-Fi 6E and the ability to connect two external displays are welcome additions. Still, the requirement to close the laptop lid when using dual monitors and the absence of Touch ID on the keyboard may inconvenience some users. Performance-wise, the M3 chip impresses, especially in graphics-intensive tasks. Whether you're editing photos or playing demanding games, the M3 MacBook Air delivers smooth performance. Battery life remains impressive, with up to 18 hours of movie playback on the Apple TV app and up to 15 hours of wireless web browsing. So let's talk about the M3 MacBook Pro. I took the plunge and got myself the 14-inch version last year, swapping out my trusty 16-inch M1 Max model. Now, these new MacBook Pros are undeniably stunning machines, but let's be real, they come with a hefty price tag. The buying process isn't without its challenges either. There's this base model M3 MacBook Pro sporting a mere 8 gigabyte of unified memory, and boy did that stir up some debate. Here's where I stand on that. I don't entirely agree with the uproar. Now that the dust has settled, I think snagging an M3 MacBook Pro is simpler than it seems. Let's talk about that 8 gigabyte model for a sec. Apple sent me one to test out, and let me tell you, it's a gem of a laptop. It's actually cheaper than the base model from the M2 lineup, plus it rocks that slick new retro design that I can't get enough of. Oh, and guess what? It's got an SD card slot, a little detail that goes a long way. Now sure, you miss out on one Thunderbolt port compared to the Pro or Max versions, but you still get that stunning ProMotion Liquid Retina XDR display, no compromises there. Now I get it. The 8 gigabyte unified memory is what's raising eyebrows. In 2024, 8 gigabyte might sound like a meager amount, but hear me out. I've been running my business on an 8 gigabyte Mac, in my case, the 15 inch M2 MacBook Air. Now I'm not editing Hollywood movies on it, but it handles everything else like a champ, from emails to spreadsheets to browsing cat videos during breaks. So why does Apple even offer these 8 gigabyte Macs? Well, first off, they want you to spend. It's classic Apple strategy lure you in with the base model, then tempt you to upgrade to 16 gigabyte, then maybe bump up that storage, and oh, why not throw in the M3 Pro chip for good measure? Secondly, there's a big market for these base models. Lots of folks just want a solid MacBook Pro without breaking the bank. Whether you're a business outfitting a whole team or a consumer looking for a reliable workhorse, the base model is a solid choice. Now, when should you consider stepping up to the M3 Pro or Max? Well, it all depends on your needs. If 8 gigabyte sounds laughable to you, then by all means, go for the upgrade. I have a hunch that the 16 gigabyte version will be the sweet spot for most. All right, let's dive into the 14 inch M3 Pro MacBook Pro. This bad boy packs quite a punch, but it also comes with a price tag to match. So is it worth the splurge? Let's break it down. First off, let's talk pros. 
the M3 Pro MacBook Pro comes standard with a whopping 18 gigabyte of unified memory, which is a real game changer for multitasking and demanding applications. Plus, it runs quiet as a mouse, so you can focus on your work without any distracting fan noise. And let's not forget about the performance. This thing can handle just about anything you throw at it with ease. But like all good things, it's not without its cons. Compared to the M2 Pro, the performance advantage of the M3 Pro isn't all that significant. Sure, it's faster, but is it worth the extra cash? That's the million dollar question. Now, onto the verdict. The standard configuration of the 14 inch M3 Pro MacBook Pro comes in at $1999, which is $400 more than the base M3 model. But here's the kicker, it's totally worth it. You're getting a faster CPU and GPU, more memory, and better connectivity options for not much more DAO. I know what you're thinking. What's under the hood? Well, our review unit sports an M3 Pro chip with an 11 core CPU and a 14 core GPU, along with a generous 18 gigabyte of memory and a 512 gigabyte SSD. Plus, that liquid retina XDR display is an absolute stunner with vibrant colors and crisp detail. Now let's talk similarities and differences between the M3 Pro and the base M3 model. Aside from the design and size, the M3 Pro has a few key upgrades. You're getting an extra Thunderbolt port, the option for a sleek space black finish, and more robust external display support. Speaking of performance, the M3 Pro really shines. In our Geekbench and Cinebench tests, it outperformed the M3 by a significant margin, especially in multi-core tasks. And don't even get me started on the GPU. It's a beast, delivering smooth graphics performance even under heavy load. Battery life is another area where the M3 Pro excels. After about 10 hours of use, it still had plenty of juice left, easily lasting through a full workday. Plus, it charges up pretty quickly thanks to the included 70 watt power adapter. So, should you pull the trigger on the M3 Pro MacBook Pro? In a word, yes. It's a powerhouse of a laptop that's perfect for everyday tasks, and then some. And while it may not offer a massive performance boost over the M2 Pro, it's still a worthy upgrade for anyone coming from an older MacBook Pro or M1 MacBook Air. But hey, if you're already rocking an M2 Pro MacBook Pro, you might want to think twice before making the switch. The performance difference might not be enough to justify the upgrade. All right, folks, we've taken a deep dive into the MacBook Air M3, MacBook Pro M3, and MacBook Pro M3 Pro. Now, the big question, which one should you buy in 2024? Let's break it down. Starting with the MacBook Air M3, it's a solid choice for those looking for a lightweight, portable option with good performance. With its M3 chip, it offers a nice balance of power and efficiency, making it great for everyday tasks. Plus, the addition of dual display support and Wi-Fi 6E is a nice touch. However, the base configuration might feel a bit limited with 8GB of memory and 256GB of storage. Next up, the MacBook Pro M3 steps it up with a more robust performance, especially in multi-core tasks. It also offers more ports and options for memory and storage upgrades. If you're looking for a workhorse that can handle heavier workloads without breaking a sweat, the MacBook Pro M3 is a solid choice. Now, onto the MacBook Pro M3 Pro. This is where things get interesting. With its 18 gigabyte of unified memory, powerful CPU and GPU, and enhanced external display support, it's a beast of a machine. If you're a professional needing serious performance for tasks like video editing, graphic design, or development, the MacBook Pro M3 Pro is the clear winner here. So, which should you buy in 2024? If you're on a budget and need a reliable laptop for everyday use, the MacBook Air M3 is a good value option. If you want more power and versatility, the MacBook Pro M3 is a step up. But if you're a power user or professional who needs top tier performance and capabilities, the MacBook Pro M3 Pro is the ultimate choice. In conclusion, for most users, the MacBook Pro M3 strikes the perfect balance of performance and price. However, if you're a professional with demanding tasks, the MacBook Pro M3 Pro is the clear winner for 2024.